Hey guys, how's it going? Kermode here. Welcome to another tutorial. So my track Flatline just came out and in it, uh, there is a really cool sort of vocoder vocal in the intro. Uh, let me guys, let me just play the chorus for you guys so you familiarize yourselves with the songs and the song and because I want to show it off a bit and then I'll jump back to the verse and show you the vocal. So this is the chorus. Actually, you can hear the vocal as the uh, pre-drop right here. So it's a pretty kind of aggressive electro complexro tune, a lot of buzzy uh, distorted basses. And on the verse, you get this sort of sound here. And uh, this is our vocal. So I clearly went for a very synthetic sort of Daft Punky vocoder sound. And I did this entirely with Ableton's vocoder. I'm about to turn this off and I apologize in advance for what you guys are going to hear. Uh, often in my music, I'll just kind of ad lib with, uh, I'll just kind of sing off the top of my head with uh, auto tune on. I'm no singer, uh, but I like to use it just so I have tools to work with. But if you ever hear the raw vocal in my music, oof, here we go. I need a friend, I need my home I'm a warrior upon my throne I'm a robot with no control I'm a Blade Runner without a... I need a friend, I need my home I'm a war... You guys get it. You guys get it. Now, the auto-tune vocal doesn't actually really matter at all. It could be a non-auto-tuned. I just like the auto-tune sound because you, as the um, vocal pitches around uh, aggressively, you get kind of these clicks and bends, and it becomes a little more rhythmic. Not important. What's important is you actually pick a good lead sound that you want your sound to sound like. Pretty basic saw sound and a pretty basic melody. And so what a vocoder does is it takes the dynamics of the frequency range of one sound, aka my vocal, but replaces it with the frequencies of the synthesizer. And that's how you get that synthetic vocal sound. So how it works is you take your really nasty raw vocal. I need a friend, I need my home. And you take Ableton's vocoder and you toss it on. Now by default, vocoder doesn't do what you think it's gonna do. It actually makes your sound uh, kind of sound like noise. I need a friend, I need my home. I'm a warrior. Turn the gate off so we... Which, if you're making kind of horror res style music, might not be a bad sound. But what you want to do is you want to take an external input from the carrier. So that means that this synth sound is going to be what is replacing the frequencies. And then you find this track in my horrifically named list vocoder lead up here. You can see my session here when I'm working seriously isn't too organized. Now there's a few things you can change to change the overall characteristic. So first is this bands, and this is kind of how many bands it's splitting the sound into, which is then, you know, replaced with the dynamic range of the vocal. 
The closer the, I find the less bands you have, the more it sounds like the synthesizer and less the vocal. Then next you set the range in which the frequencies are actually uh, being picked up. So if you limit the range, we're only hearing this sort of range. I like to expand this to its fullest. Now, this attack and release is also how kind of aggressively uh, it changes. So if it, everything's really slow. You don't really get much of the vocal change. Well, if things are nice and aggressive. You get a lot more texture out of it, so I quite like that. And then it's up to you how you want to set this depth knob, which will increase the effect. Now this formant knob here will just shift the formants lower or higher, which doesn't change the pitch of the sound. If you don't know what a formant is, it's kind of like the tone and timbre. So the higher you go, even though it's singing the same notes, it's almost like a baby is singing the same notes. Versus like a, a monster. So that's sounding pretty good. And then if you want, a few other things you can change. You could turn this enhance on, which just kind of enhances the quality of the incoming signal. A little nicer in the highs. You can draw the EQ bands here and turn down certain frequencies. You can change the width of each band, so if it's thinner, uh, it starts to become a little kind of resonant and ringy. And then lastly, this precise or retro setting. And you can see that made that vocal pretty damn cool. I need a friend. Now, what really changes it is not the vocal itself, but again, actually comes down to the incoming signal. So right now we're using, I'm guessing, a pretty basic saw wave by the sound of it. But depending on how we change this, I need a friend, I need my home, I'm a warrior, up on my throne, I'm a robot with no control, I'm a blade with no control. So you hear it comes a lot more down to the synth you're using. That's it. That's how I achieved the vocal in this song. So, thanks so much, guys. I hope you start implementing this in your music. And again, any way you can support the music coming out really means the world. I try and create this content for you guys just out of love. And uh, anything you give back really helps a lot. So, thanks again, guys. I'm Kamodi. Peace.